Hey everyone, it's Andy Fletcher Petrahead and this is Mabel who, just because I put my hoodie on for this video, thinks she's going for a walk, so I'm gonna have to do the walk afterwards. And my other dog is down by my feet. Anyway, I recently put up a video about the different prices of electric charging. And one of the options was Octopus Go, which gives you four hours from half 12 to half four in the morning to charge at a nice cheap rate of 5p a unit. Obviously this is a really good thing for electric car owners and a lot of my friends who have electric cars are either on Octopus Go or Octopus Agile. If you're interested in joining Octopus, if you have a look in the description, you get 50 quid credit. So um, I had a very nice guy make a comment and his point was, no, that, that, that's ridiculous because yes, you get the four hours, but you can't fill a car like a, like a Tesla Model 3, for example, with a 75 kilowatt hour battery in the four hours because most home chargers, unless you've got th three phase, but most home chargers can add about seven kilowatts. So in an hour, it's seven kilowatt hours. So 7, 14, 28, and that's just a little bit over a third of the Tesla Model 3 battery. So you're not filling it within those four hours. And then after that, it's gonna go back up to the 14p or whatever um, normal rate. My reply was, yeah, but you don't normally charge your battery up full every night. Okay, so there's gonna be some people who do 300 miles a day and charge their car fully overnight and then do 300 miles the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. If you do that, fair play, that's a lot of miles. I wouldn't want to be sitting in a car for that many miles every day. So for most people, and the average in the UK is something like 25 miles a day. So realistically, you could charge up your Model 3 once a fortnight and do that every workday. And you would still have battery. So the reality is most people don't do a full charge. For a start, it's not the best thing to do for the battery to charge it up to 100% on say a Tesla. So what most people do is they charge it up to 80%. So that's already knocked out 20% of um, um, your needs. In the 18,000 miles we own the Model S, we probably had to do a big charge maybe three or four times. Like, it wasn't very often. Most of the time, you'd be charging from, say, 40 to 60% and just topping it up to the to um, the 80%. And then that would be your day-to-day your -day thing. You just do it every night. You just get home, plug it in, and go for it. If you want to get technical about it, you could get something like a My Energy Zappi or a Omi charger, which will work it out for you. But most of the time... I, I used to go up to upstairs at about midnight, I just plug it in and um, charge it. Because most of the time we had the Model S, we were on Octopus Go. And then I moved to Agile um, earlier this year with just the i3. So the Agile is a little bit different in that it changes every half an hour. So your window is often longer, but it's not fixed at 5p. I'll have to do another video on that. So coming back to my point, what... The reality is that you don't charge your car fully every night, unless you do a massive miles. You just top it up. So you can easily fit in, you know, your 20 kilowatt hours of extra energy into the car within the four hours, because that's gonna take you about three hours at seven kilowatt sort of charge rate. So don't be worried about that. That's something that comes up quite a lot with people who are thinking about buying an EV, they go, well, okay, it's gonna cost two pounds to fill the car, and I'm gonna do that every day, so that's gonna be 60 pounds a month in electricity. The reality is you don't, and um, you need to think about your usage, how many miles you're actually going to drive, and then you can work out how much you need to top it up. So if you are a little bit confused, please email me or, or put a comment on YouTube, I'll be more than happy to answer that in a future video or drop you an email back and sort of explain it a bit more. But yeah, for most people, Octopus Go, four hours of cheap charging is plenty to keep your EV topped up. So it's great. So yeah, from a little bit of a sleepy Mabel and me, I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Bye.